Hello, hello, hello. What's your name, honey? <laughs> Brittany. Brittany, where you you call me from, babe? Greenville, North Carolina. Hey. Who's that? <laughs> One of my babies. How many kids do you have? Bruh. I have seven. You have seven children? God, no. How old are you? I'm 34. 34. I'm oh, hell no. Oh, oh, oh. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ron back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. And after I heard seven kids and that you're 34, that would have been it for me. I wouldn't need to know anything else. But we're going to entertain this for entertainment's sake. Let's keep it moving. Excuse me, how old are your kids? Um, I have a 13, I have a 11 year old that's about to be 12 on the 26th. I have a nine year old, a four year old that's gonna be oh, five just, on just, one day. Just, wait, just give me their ages now, cause it's gonna confuse me. Okay, 13, 11, nine, four, three, three, and one. So three, three are twins? No, they're not. One is gonna be four tomorrow. Oh, okay. Um, are they all about the same man? Um, the last four, yes. Why is it not with this man? Because you got a four-year-old, two three-year-olds, and a one-year-old. Um, it's a long story. Um, when I met him, I didn't know he was married until I got pregnant, and well, that's got, when I found out. He ended up right. Well, after the first time, he left the wife and we were together for until like the last till last year so what did you find out he was pregnant um the first year like the first year in um okay, how many kids did you have at that time i had three so you're wait wait no with him I have four with him. Okay, I'm asking. When did you find out before? Okay, how long did you date him before you found he was married? A year. Okay, so that means you had four kids by him knowing he was pregnant. I mean, married, correct? After I found out, yeah. But he left, you know, that situation after the first. After I found out I was pregnant with the first one by him, he left that. So why did you get married? Pregnant three more times. We're together then. Then why are you telling me you're not together right now because you didn't know he was married? Well, he didn't get divorced. We ended up, we were in a relationship, but he didn't get divorced. It was just like they were separated the whole time. It was a messy situation. So did you know he was, did you think he was divorced or did you think he was separated? Um, I thought he was going through with the divorce. Um, he had got the paperwork and everything, but apparently, you know, nothing ever moved forward. So now you He's just been still married. He went back to his life. Mhm. Mm I yeah. I told him he had to go, and yeah, he went back. And why? Why did you tell me he had to go? What happened? Um, he was an alcoholic. He was older than me. He he's fifty. I'm thirty four, and he had a problem with drinking. And when he would drink, it may be two or three days he didn't come home. And then when he would come home, he would have the same clothes on. It was just a lot. So it wasn't. It wasn't okay. This is just a whole hot mess. So let me get this straight. <laughs> Ooh wee! I'm, I'm trying to recap all this, man. This is a lot to unpack. So this woman already had three kids before she was with him. Got pregnant with him. Found out that he was married. He decides to leave his wife for you. Y'all have three more children, but because of his alcoholism, you decide, you tell him to go back to his wife. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Y'all heard it. Did I get all that right? I think I did. Dude, this, dude, this sounds like a whirlwind, man. And he, here's my thing, though. You mean to tell me 
it took you four kids to find out about about how bad he was on alcohol four out the cap and why not have why not stop having kids until he went through with the divorce and i don't know maybe married you before y'all started having more kids you stupid sweet jesus man seven bro god damn seven like that that's enough to fill out an nba roster bro like you can you you can play you can play in the nba with seven players bro Ooh. damn oh, oh, i'm talking shit. let's keep it moving your other three children are they all by the same man no my oldest two and then the one in the middle um my middle daughter, well, not middle, but she's by someone that I grew up with. Okay, so, Brittany. Hold on, so. So, all together, you got three baby daddies between seven children. One of them got two, one of them got one, and then the last person you was with, he got four. And the last person that you with is still married to somebody else. And God knows how many children he got with that woman. The, the dude's 50 years old i'd imagine he probably got kids with that woman too see and this is exactly what we mean when we when we try to give women these statistics on men that that have children the reason why y'all complain is because a lot of the men that y'all are having children with already have children and y'all can and y'all can stop the cap because most of y'all be knowing that these guys got children but before y'all have before y'all have their child too let's keep it moving Greenville seven children um so Brittany <laughs> do you want more kids no I hope okay. not no. Right, let's keep going what do you do for a living um I work from home with Amazon work with Amazon oh yeah just so you know for all my passport bros that's another remote job you can look into if you're trying to work remotely Amazon Amazon they um you know, just go and apply. They got jobs for you that you can do from um, home. Let's keep it moving. Okay, you work with Amazon. What's the Zodiac sign? Cancer, July 20th. Cancer, July 20th. All right, so this is Brittany Greenville, South Carolina. Is a Cancer. North Carolina. 34, works for Amazon. Seven children. What kind of men North Carolina. Work, Brittany? Um... Someone caring and patient and, you know, works and kind of has it together. I mean, I at this point, I consider myself having it together. Um, so someone that basically has it together, loyal, not a liar, not a cheater, hopefully not a drinker, maybe occasionally, but that's pretty much what I'm looking for. I'll give her this much. She's not asking for a lot. I think she's being somewhat reasonable considering her situation. But still, though, ma'am, you are asking for a lot for a man to take on that amount of children. She is a really good example of what men say when they say recreational use only. Now, if a woman only has maybe one or two children, she'll have way more hope than a woman in her position. But seven? Ma'am, with that many children, do you even have time to date, let alone Netflix, Netflix and chill? That's all I'm saying, man. Let's keep it moving. Can you, can you, favor, can you turn your TV off? Stop. All right. Okay. Brittany, now, honey, I say yeah. this with love. They told me I got to start saying, I say this with love. You have a four-year-old, two, three-year-olds, and a one-year-old. You really feel like you're ready to start dating somebody else? Yeah, I was, we were done August of last year. Well, August of last year. So let me, what would you say to the man that might be concerned that you have seven children? I'm not asking him to come in and take care of my kids. I mean, I got my kids. Um, I'm looking for a companion. And if it leads to more, then of course he's going to be around my kids, but I'm not asking him to necessarily take care of my kids, support my kids, or, you know, be their father. Maybe just, you know, and you know, everybody has their own choice. I haven't had any issues prior, you know, with people 
trying to date me knowing how many kids I have, but what's going on with those? And I'm gonna be honest with you, that's a big part of the problem. That is a big part of the problem. It really is. Because shame doesn't exist in this country anymore. Like let's keep it a buck. That's what it really is. If anything, shame is one sided. It's all on men. Men will be shamed into taking women like her seriously. And then to top it all off, she's really not even she on top on top of that, she's not even attractive for real. Yeah, I'm like, go y'all could go ahead and start giving out y'all um ratings in the comments now because I already I already know y'all gonna tear her ass up. Let's keep it moving. Man. Um well I've been focused. I, I had a lot going on lately and I'm just getting back out there to be honest. Um Liam, can you have him turn that tablet down? Um, sorry. Um my Yeah, just keep in mind that's what y'all gonna have to deal with dealing with women like this. Let's keep it moving. My brother was murdered last year, so it's like we're doing a lot of, you know, trying to get justice because the people who kill them are still out there. They're, they've not been arrested, and we know who they are. So it's just a lot going on with that situation. Okay, well, that's not. I want to. I'm sorry yeah. about the passing of your brother. Yeah. Sorry about the passing of your brother. Um, let's let's yes. stage okay. that energy. Yeah, especially if you. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Um. About a few years ago, and I showed a picture of this woman before too. Um, older woman, attractive. Bro, if you ever come across a woman that's dealing with that kind of trauma and it's recent, please stay away from them, bro. I'm letting you know right now, it is a lost cause, bro. Because I'm like, this woman didn't know what to do with me because a year prior to dating me, her son passed away. You know, and we were dating around the same time her son passed away. So while she was trying to focus and put her attention on me, she was too concerned about that because it was still fresh. So I will stay away from this, guys. Just just based on my experience, man, my opinion, I will stay away from women like that. Let's keep it moving. You justice hasn't been heard. Oh. Um, all right, Brittany, well, let's continue. So this man, does he have to look a certain way? Um, no, I, the the darker, the better. The older, the better. Older, the better. That's brother the request tonight. So you're 34. How old do you want him to be? I like him 45 plus, to be honest. 45 plus, OK. Um. I like them dark, and they don't have to be tall. They can be short. My height, that the height thing doesn't matter. Um, weight really doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Height. Well, yeah, because I'd imagine with seven kids. Yeah. I, I, yeah, we got to see the Kendra cam, because with seven kids and just from what I'm looking at right now, I already know what time it is. <laughs> Let's keep it moving. Doesn't matter. Um, what about money? Does he make a certain amount of money? Um, enough to take care of himself and you know his household. I got me. You got you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another to take care of your house and the household. Um, let's do the kids you can. Okay. No, what is that? Can you see? Wait, Hold it, Hold it, Leah. your legs. We got to see your legs. Back up, son. Back up, son. Put it down. Who's that one of the babies? Yeah, that's one of them. Come on, 13. Which one? 11? 9? What's it? That one. Hey. <laughs> Hey, one, which one? Three, four. No, no, no. Good lord, boy. She got the gang with her. Um, but yeah, just as I expected. Just as I expected, man. But at least she's not being as delusional as the other women, but when you this far down the um totem pole, I think it kind of makes sense. You know what I mean? Cause let's be honest. If she was a lot more attractive and still had seven kids, we all know we all know she would have been asking for top shelf. We know it. 
<laughs> but then again, there's been women of this caliber asking for top tier as well, man. So it, at the end of the day, man, the delusion ain't going nowhere. It's still out there, but <sighs> God bless whatever man. I pray for any man that even thinks or bothers to take this on. That's a lot. Seven? Good luck with that. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this, man. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way y'all know what I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm. It helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel. Unplugged Traveler. Link is in the description as well as my latest mixtape, Lost Music Volume 2. And if you want to purchase any of the merch, the screenshot.com link is in the description. Until the next video, y'all.